Gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Potato. Today we are playing some Supreme Commander online, on stream. This is being recorded live on stream and, you know, there's always a chance for things to go wrong. But especially now, there's an extra large chance for things to go wrong. So, we are playing in a match full of people that are anywhere from level, I think it's 700 to 1100. So quite a large variety of folk that are just uh, that are just chilling out kicking back and playing some casual well casual I say casual because you never really play FAF casually um you know just some just some chilled out FA I guess and uh, yeah we should have a, a grand old time doing so the game is already been paused what the hell I have no idea why this is very, very strange behavior indeed. Yeah, well, okay, I can I can, uh, I can, can give you a little rundown of the team. We've got Achieved Jaguar just to the south of me, and to the south of that we've got Thapsillion, and before that we've got Aresimo, just below that. So, there you go. A little bit of uh, information for you there. Just uh, keeping you up to date on, uh, on, on what the hell is going on. All right. To get some power generators down, uh, and of course some good old mass extractors, and then we are going to be sending the commander to the. Oh shit! I did not mean to click on you. That that fucked everything up. No, you are going to come this way. Oh, that that really fucked up my early build uh, queue, but it's okay. We're still doing fairly well, I think. Uh, you can go over here. I actually want to start reclaiming. I really don't know if there's any mass. There's some mass up there, which I would love to reclaim in all honesty. No, why the fuck do I keep selecting my commander? Jesus Christ. And then you go over there. Come on, dude. Oh, I don't have to go middle. Okay, that's great. I'm, I'm excused from the duty of, of going middle. I like this very much. It's probably because I'm bad, and he just feels uh, he feels that I I'm, would be fucking useless there. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, maybe maybe after I've, I've finished building these things, I will uh, I will indeed go middle. Uh, but but after after I've done that, they might send three. They might send three indeed. Just having a look at the little chat down here. They might send three commanders, so we would obviously need to respond with a, a similar number of commanders. I'm going to send three commanders, just to be on the safe side. Any more mass that is of interest, pretty much just that rock up there. It's going to give us a, a decent chunk of mass, which is uh, which is kind of nice. But apart from that, not much else we can do. More engineers, please. In fact, no. Cancel the engineers. Cancel the engineers. Let's go for some... Let's go for some tanks. Let's get some tanks off... Uh, off straight away? No, let's get some tanks off the production line straight away. That's what I meant to say. And then let's move that down there and queue you up. Need to go extreme on the resources and get early tier 3, Sectrex is saying in the chat. Indeed, that is what I'm going to be planning to do. Obviously, I'm not really that pro, so there's uh, there's rather limited expectations on me, let's say. Which is kind of nice. Which is really kind of nice, actually. Okay, good. They're, uh, they've got a little scout going on there, that's fine. Okay, I need to... Start building power generators or something now, because otherwise we're going to overflow on mass. Okay, let's go that. Let's go upgrade that there. All right, I just couldn't. I just couldn't let myself uh, go over on mass for too, too, too long, because otherwise I would uh, run into a little bit of a, an interesting scenario. All right, you. Now you can come back. I don't know why that has gone like there, but whatever. Get planes. I will endeavor to go planes. Planes are next on the agenda. But I'm uh, I'm prioritizing just getting a good ground base sort of gotten gotten sorted. Although that's probably not something I should actually be doing. Let's uh, let's take you off for a minute. Let's uh, go over here and let's build some aircraft right there quite comfortably. That is very very good news indeed. 
and you can build that and everybody will be happy and we're you know don't forget that we're actually going tech to land so that's something that we're totally doing um hi how long is the stream going the stream will be going for a while but this is also going on youtube so you can catch it after people on youtube will be seeing this right now and they'll be like what the fuck is going on and i'm saying uh you know this is a stream and i stream mondays wednesdays and fridays i think actually yeah so just a, a quick little FYI for you there. Uh, I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build some heavy tanks. Okay. It worries me how uh, how how juicy how juicy a target all of uh, all of the things are. And what I mean by that is we don't have any air right now, which is a little bit uh, annoying. Got to take two mass though. We've got a Tech 2 mass, which is very, very nice indeed. Let's take these engineers back a little bit. In fact, let's take them over here. Let's take them over here, and I am, I'm, I'm lowest on the scoreboard. And you know what? I have, I have no shame. Literally no shame. Um, I've got, uh, I've got a whole lot of nothing here. I'll be honest with you, but we've got our commander out there, so that's a risk that we're probably taking for literally no reason. Thank you very, very much for following. I do appreciate it. Anybody that follows is a total legend. I'll be honest with you. You're a total legend. It is uh, It is really, really nice to see that people that people enjoy enjoy some good old Supreme Commander stuff. Um, we're going Tier 2. That's, that's good. That's the right thing to do. We're going to overflow on mass a little bit. So that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Let's be prepared to not overflow on mass, which is kind of nice. Let's get you coming out. Let's get you collecting up some trees. Why the hell not? And you, you can also go over there and collect some trees. Why the hell? Why the hell not? And after you guys are done, you can come over here and do something else, which I have yet to decide. Um, after you guys are done with that, actually, yeah, just go and help. Just go and help with that, dude. Build some tier one power generators so that we can actually be a okay. Obviously, we've got the commander over here, which is fine. It's not really a major issue. We're going to put down a tech one. Yeah, we'll put down a, a tech one uh, anti-air turret just to be on the safe side, just to protect uh, our own dudes and whatnot. In fact, you know what? We might actually do that and then do that. Yeah, that might be a nice idea. Yeah. Okay. Good. So we, we you know, we've got some turrets. We've got, we've got some way of dealing with whatever the hell that he throws at us, which is kind of nice. Oh man, this is good. This is good indeed. Tech 2 Air is just finishing, which is exactly what we like to see. Everybody is busy. I like it when everybody is busy doing something. That makes me a very, very happy person on the inside. Um, Tech 2 Gunships, I think, is something that is uh, that is going to be a thing. Just like, just like Tech 2 Fighters. Tech 2 Fighters are also going to be a thing. Okay, let's finish that up there. And then let's leave it. We don't want to uh, build any more stuff. But we will, however, send another dude. Another dude this way. Uh, yeah, something like that. Something like that. All right, that's 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 fairly decent. If we can try and push forward a little bit, deny a little bit of economy. That would be cushy. That would be very very cushy and very very comfortable. I'm also going to start building some fighter bombers now uh, to make sure that we see what the hell is going on. Also, I think another air factory would be a very, very nice indeed. Another air factory, of course, would mean that we could produce some tier 1 scouts while at the same time producing some bombers, which is actually what I think would be a very, very good idea. Okay, I'm going to try and push for this. We've got take 2 tanks, so... In all honesty, I wouldn't expect this, uh, in fact, yeah, now that's a point defense over there. I was like, what What the hell is it that's shooting me that hard? I'm like, oh, yeah, of course, it's a point defense. Crazy. Crazy. How could I, how could I fuck that up bad, that, that so badly? Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, but I am a way to overflow on mass, so I don't want to go tech three. I want to go tech two. Tech two and tech two and that should mean that I don't overflow as heavily on mass uh, I'm still gonna be well, close to the overflowing limit which is somewhat problematic but I live I live in hope that I will one day be classed as 
somewhat uh, not a fuck up. But obviously that day is is a long, a long, long way away. Now, can they actually get over this mountain? I think they can actually, you know. Uh, scout front. You know what? It's funny you should say that because what the hell? That's a land factory. What the hell am I doing? Well, you know what? Land factories are not inherently bad. Uh, they're just, you know, they're just not as... Not exactly what I was what I was looking for. I can still build land scouts, which is kind of nice, but you know, a land scout ain't really what I'm looking for. I'm afraid, it it doesn't really cut it. Okay, let's go up here and let's build a radar right in there. That should be exactly what we need. Okay, some land scouts, not too many. That's way too many, way too many. Okay, what the hell is going on? I have no idea what's going on there. I'm going to get some scouts off over there, see what the hell is going on. I've got some fighter bombers, that's good, that's good, that's comfortable, that's cushy. Again, you know, that's that's the word, cushy. Uh, also, let's go for some Tech 2 engineers. I'm sick and tired of these Tech 1 engineers that are just, uh, that are just not doing enough stuff. Air scouts, yep, give me some air scouts over here. Yeah, so they're amassing they're amassing a force over there, which is a problem that I did think would happen. Can I can I get my forces up there? Is that a thing that I can do? I really don't know if it is. Let's give it a shot. Let's uh, let's let's fly over some aircraft and see what the hell we've got going on. I've certainly got some aircraft. You know, I've got two attack bombers. Uh, so, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's upgrade as many Tech 1 uh, mass extractors as we possibly can, because we are overflowing mass uh, like a motherfucker. Okay, so, there is some shit up here. Let's show our hand. Let's, uh, oh, they do have anti-air, though. They do have anti-air. It's a little bit annoying, actually. Let's move our forces up there. It's annoying that we have to do it, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we will be prepared for when they come down the mountain. That is for absolutely certain. How are we doing for mass? We're still doing okay for mass. Looks like maybe upgrading those, uh, those all at the same time was ballsy. Ballsy, but a good idea. Why would you... Why would you... Is there only... Is that the only anti-aircraft? That's the thing, though. I don't really know if that's the only anti-air. The only anti-air... Yeah, let's move this dude up here. Yep, I'm on it. I'm on it right now. In fact, you know what? Let's just, let's just bomb... Let's just bomb this area. And just get out. Just get out. It's, uh, it's not worth it anymore. It's not worth it. It is completely not worth it. Yeah. Okay. So that was uh, that was clearly his intention to do that. Well, we're gonna get we're gonna get some uh, some of his aircraft down, which is kind of nice. But at what cost? That's the question. At what cost, indeed? What a what a terrible terrible sacrifice. In fact, you know it's not. It's actually not. It's really not a terrible sacrifice. We lost what two bombers? Two bombers. I'm if. If we could, if we could go like that forever, then uh, then I would be a okay with uh, with those trades. I just need to make sure that I've got more anti-air up for next time. That's that's literally it, I think. Um, and then obviously I need to get this tier three air factory done as soon as possible. The mass is looking fairly fairly nice. Let's get the anti-air and then let's finally get these engineers that I promised myself I would get. Oh goodness sake! In fact, let's get those engineers right now. Let's get the engineers right now because we're away to. Have we got all tech, tech two, tech two? Holy shit, we do! All right, we're gonna have to go tech three, like something like that, I think. Holy shit, we are gonna be upgrading to tech three mass, like literally now. Uh, the opportunity, the opportunity for this does not happen often. The opportunity to 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 do this thing that I am doing now just accelerate. Is uh, is really really rather crazy? 
Uh, what we want to do is we want to get an engineer to start plonking down. That's energy storage. That's not what we want. We want some mass storage. Engineer, start plonking down some mass storage. Hopefully that should be fine. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pause you. We're we're gonna we're gonna pause you there because I'm just not interested in doing that. You know what? Fuck it. Let's uh, let's ride over the mountain and fuck him up. You know what? They really don't have a lot there. They really do not have a lot there. They've got a tech one point defense though, so that may not be the wisest decision in the world. But we can certainly hold off. We can certainly hold off. That's for that's for damn certain. Uh, in fact, you know what? We could even build a point defense up here and some walls around it. Why the hell not? Might as well, eh? Might as well. Um, let's get some. Let's get let's get tier two on that factory. That's for certain. Let's get the. Where are you going? Let's go get you to assist there. Let's go get you guys to assist over there, and you can go tech three. This is this is so unusual. Um, I really have not gone tier three very much, but strategic bombers are hugely, hugely powerful, and that's something that I like to see. All right, we need to retreat literally everything down the hill because we've got no anti-air over there. Is this tier two anti-air? This is tier two anti-air. That's good. That's good news. It's good news all around. Um, I'm happy with that. That's that's happy news. Although we need to make sure that we retreat off fairly quickly. Uh, here we go. Let's try that. Let's try that. Build an anti-air turret right there. Everybody's happy. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. Let's fly some. Uh, let's fly some aircraft over here just to make sure that we have some sort of a comprehension of what's going on. Uh, this is the tech one engineer that, that everybody assists, is that right? I think so. Um, also, we need, need to make sure that this is a template. There we go. So, yep, we can access the template now. That's good news, that's good news. We're going to assist this uh, this tier 2 factory going into uh, to tier 3. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it works. Put down some more turrets, and then let's put down a wall section. Actually, which is something that I didn't even, I didn't even remember about. Yeah, holy cow! We might as well try and uh, try and sort of defend ourselves at least to some degree. Um, let's get some, let's get some gunships. Let's get some gunships. Uh, gunships will be able to do consistent damage to any enemy that we decide to target. So. Uh, that's going to be a nice little uh, a nice little option for us. Also, I think we're done with enough engineers. What's somebody pinging down there? No idea why. Um, we're done with the engineers. We don't need any more engineers. Thank you very much. We should be fine. I really want him to run his. Uh, I really want him to run his forces against me because, or run his air forces against me anyway, because that would be that would be literally the ideal scenario. Um, alright, you guys, what the hell, did I make, okay, build a, build an anti-air flak there, no, 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 you don't want to, these fighter bombers are not to be lured out, very, very important that they be successful, okay, you and you both need to be unpaused at the same time, they have tier 3 air, we have tier 3 air, don't mind if I do. I'm going to build a butt ton of interceptors. Everybody is going to be assisting this factory because it's so, so damn important that we actually manage to get it done. You're going to be building that tier 2 air, and then we are going to be going over there. In fact, you know what would be really nice right now? A tier 3 factory. That would be just damned dandy, wouldn't it? Let's get some shield generators up and around the place because that's something that we totally need. And you tier 2 guys... You can start working on some power generators. Now, power generators, I know, something that I never really think about, uh, but it's always something that I regret not building, so why the hell do we not want to do it? Might as well be uh, be worth it. Let's, let's get this dude to come and uh, protect the power generator, at least for now, while we're still working on it. All right, good. We're getting a bunch of tier 3 air superiority fighters. My economy is looking fucking smooth right now. We're upgrading two... Two? Believe it or not, 
yes, two, uh, two mass extractors to tier three. So that is that is literally delicious. Okay, I don't understand why. Did I make like a different type? I made a field engineer. What the hell did I make a field engineer? I have no idea why I did that. Just normal tech two engineers will do me just fine. Uh, just get me some mass extractors, please. No, come over here. Get me mass extractors. Not there. 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 And there. Fantastic. That's what I wanted you to do. So now we've got a an interception force that can quite comfortably deal with, uh, with anything that the enemy wants to throw at us. Also, we've got some rudimentary form of repelling... Um, of repelling the enemy in terms of we've got some shield generators basically uh, I'm gonna continue building another couple power generators in fact you know what no maybe maybe not let's get a shield generator up right now and um, I think this is gonna be this is going to be a match that ends up going to tier 3 artillery which is something that I think is not the best but at the same time it's it's far from the worst I'm really not worried about it I mean, we've already got uh, Yathotha. Yathotha? Yeah, Yathotha. That's, uh, that's going to, you know, chow down on that point defense over there. So that's kind of nice. I don't really want to commit my entire force because they've got a tier 3 anti-air SAM. And that's just getting pounded. Just getting absolutely pounded. Yeah, looks like this game may go on for a little while. Let's get you guys to come and assist with the tier 3 factory because that would be just fine and dandy as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we want to retreat you guys, park them over there. You guys are going to be my elite attack force. I say elite and you're only like tech 2 but whatever, who gives a damn. Um, let's upgrade you and let's get ready to upgrade you when you are ready. You guys are literally doing nothing so let's get you to come over here fuck come over here and uh, and actually do some building and stuff because we've got the economy to do it we're just deciding not to do it which is really really fucking dumb really really fucking dumb in my worldly opinion i mean just think of the economy that we're going to have once we actually finish getting all of these mass extractors and mass extractors uh metal storage mass storage mass storage collectors collectors up and running that really came out really badly. That really came out really badly. I just, I, I'm on a roll of, of bad speech today, apparently. Uh, I don't really know why. Okay. Both sent over to there. Great. My commander is still over there. That's an easy pick off for them if they manage to get it. So I am going to be uh, retreating rather heavily. And you know what? We could probably, we could probably, yeah, templates. People are saying templates, templates. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um... I'm not too worried about these templates that uh, that people keep talking about. Okay, because, uh, you know, as long as you... Even if it's just a little bit more work. I mean, it's not like it changes the outcome of the game or anything. It's just it's just a little... It's a few more clicks, really. That's it, isn't it? Um, so I'm not too worried about not, not getting the perfect template or whatever. All right, have we got enough interceptors? I think we do have enough interceptors, right? Let's go for some gunships. Let's go for some gunships next. And then we will go for strategic bombers. Strategic bombers, of course, being that mystical end game. Well, semi end game, I suppose. That mystical semi end game um, unit that will wipe out literally anything. Tech one scouts. Okay, so if he's he's scouting me, he doesn't realize that I'm actually kind of powerful. As in, I'm powerful in the regard that I've got tier 3 air, and I'm not the bottom of score, which is actually surprising. Uh, now, the reason that tech 3 gunships are a good thing is so that I can actually uh, manage to take out any of the, uh, the enemy uh, experimentals that sort of come at me. Now, a fat boy is something that I'm actually going to want to build because it's going to very favorably engage this entire area, which is something that I am uh, interested in doing. Now, a fat boy would be just fine and dandy as far as I'm concerned. Now, let's rally every, everybody over there. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what's going on over here. There's an anti-air SAM, another anti-air SAM over there. So it, it worries me how little land we've got over here. That worries me. 
Uh, but my fat boy will be up before long and we should be able to trudge forward and crush everybody and everything with the fat boy's amazing long range cannons. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Alright, let's let's take everybody off um let's take everybody off tech three uh gunship gunship production. Cause we've got two of them and we've also got yeah, we've got a, a few more Tech 2s, so we're not going to be completely uh, sorted in terms of air attacks and uh, and ground attacks and experimentals and whatnot, but we're going to be doing a significant amount of damage. Also, we've got the ability to fairly consistently stick out some Percivals right here and some mobile missile platforms, so we're going to be doing damage, you know? Don't get me wrong, we're going to be doing damage. It's just perhaps uh, not as much damage as we'd, we'd like to be doing. And we're still getting more mass extractors. Now we are going to have a little bit of a mass shortage, which is kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Let's stop this Tech 2 factory. It's not going to save much mass, but it's, you know, every little helps, as they say. Every little helps. Surprisingly, we've also managed to maintain the shield generator. Oh, strategic bombers are coming. Strategic bombers are coming. I am responding... Responding right now. Shift G. Everybody will will destroy the strategic bombers. Fingers crossed that it actually works. Yeah, it looks like we'll get most of them. We should get most of them. With my professional plays splitting up the attack orders, they will indeed get nothing. They will indeed get nothing. They did take down a shield, but a shield is something that can be replaced, you know? It's not an issue. Not an issue at all. I think we should we could probably try and going in for the attack over there, but hey ho, we're we're not gonna do that quite yet. Uh, also some tier three um some tier three anti-air would probably not be the stupidest thing in the world. Obviously it's annoying because we're a little low uh, economically, but that's fine. Also, I'm gonna move my commander back into the shield just to be on the safe side of things, because otherwise, you know, there is the slight chance. And I say slight because it is very slight, uh, but we could get uh, we could get shot up. We could. I mean, it's always possible. I mean, even though I'm like super super amazing at this game, it's it's possible that we could unbelievably uh, get shot up. I mean, I know, I know. It's crazy. It's crazy to think that that's even possible. But hey ho, um, I'm surprised we haven't seen any more experimentals come out. Um, my experimental being the first. The first experimental? Well, not the first experimental. Uh, there was a Yathotha, um, but I'm not entirely sure of anything else that there has been. But whatever the case, there's there's not much else going on in terms of my teammates don't really seem to be going for anything in particular, are they? There's a heavy shield generator in there. Maybe, maybe some Tech 3 artillery, perhaps? What's going on over here? A stealth field generator. Radar system. Some missile launchers. Okay, that, that's good, but it's not going to help us win the game. Well, it's, it's not going to help us. It's not going to hinder us, but it's not going to, uh, it's not going to, you know, super, super make us win. Oh, fantastic. There was something that was being done. A Yathotha. This is, uh, this game has already gone on for longer than I expected. I did not expect it to be, uh, to be going on for that long. Which is uh, which is kind of nice that we've managed to survive, uh, you know, this uh, this long, without uh, without absolutely uh, being annihilated. Which is kind of nice. Is that a that's a tactical missile launcher over there? All right. You know what? I'm I'm fairly happy with how things are going. Obviously, the only thing that really worries me is the fact that we don't have enough economy to run all of our engineers off. And meh, it's fine. We're doing all right. I mean, there's there's a lot of tech. Most of our mass extractors are still Tech 2. We do have a couple of Tech 3s, though. I really don't know why we've decided... Oh, my God. What the hell? Where is our power going? Where did our Where did our power go? Did we just finish building this SAM launcher? Is that it? Is that literally it? I Okay, we, we seem to have got our power back. Which is nice. Um, it's encouraging. Hopefully his, his Yathotha hasn't gone for it yet. Holy shit. He's amassing a force over there. Um, I'm going to move my fat boy over. 
everybody's gonna have an absolutely rip roaring time. Because I've got a motherfucking fat boy. That's right. That's right, sunshine. Whoa, what the hell is going on? I can hear the sound of something devious. Um, do we want to build some... Let's assist... No, these guys. I'll need to assist this guy. This guy needs to build a strategic missile defense, I think, actually. Let's try and build one... Maybe over there. Let's. Uh, it's still within the shield. I mean, I'd like. To, I'd ideally like to build something that would help protect my friends, but I'm okay with not doing it. I'm okay with not doing something like that because hey ho, it's it's still. If we can manage to you know defend at least one person, that's that's absolutely fine. A lot of tier one air scouts. Let's try and cut them off. Might be worth it. Might be worth it. Shift G. He's he's really he's really diving here, isn't he? He's really really diving. No, that's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. That's okay. We're doing okay. We're doing we're doing just fine and dandy. All right. It's clear to me that uh, this is never gonna work. This is absolutely never gonna work. Uh, what we need to do is we need to change up tack and go for another power generator. Alright. Move this guy a little bit forward. Oh, that's annoying, to say the least. Okay, let's intercept these dudes. Shift G will split the orders up, which is kind of nice. And we should easily manage to take out all of this bollocks that is going on. Fantastic, that's what we like to see. Now let's retreat our fighters back home so they don't get picked off. And let's move these guys up as well in preparation for the inevitable assault. Holy shit, we did actually manage to get a quantum gateway up. I didn't expect that. I did not expect that at all. Now where's our Tech 3 engineer? Our Tech 3 engineer is over here. After this, we need a Tech 3 power generator. We just can't avoid it anymore. We just can't avoid it anymore. Uh, and then after that, we need a shield generator, which covers like as much of the base as possible. Okay, we're still getting... Oh, God. Yeah, we don't really want to get shafted too much. I really don't want to lose my fat boy. I really, really don't want to lose my fat boy. Please, let's not lose my fat boy. It's got one kill. Uh, no! Died too young. Too young. Too fucking young. Too fucking young. Oh man. That sucks. That really sucks. We've only got one anti-air in that entire group. Well, that's a horrific mix. I really don't like that. Well, you know what? At least we distracted them, eh? This Galactic Colossus is gonna is gonna is gonna help. Um Alright, let's get a, a tier three engineer out here to reclaim this. Because we need to. We need the mass back. I'm sorry. We can't afford not to. We literally cannot afford not to. 8,000 mass. I'm comfortable. Comfortable with that. Um, that's, that's happy. That makes me happy. Now, can we get some Percivals? Because we're going to be up against some absolute bollocks. So, some Percivals uh, are nice, I've been told. Percivals are nice. That, you heard it. You heard it here first. Percivals are nice. Uh, are we on to building... No, we're not on to building strap bombers yet, but we do have our tier 3 power, which is lovely. Absolutely lovely. Uh, we're still building more economic units. Our tech 3-ish mass extractors. That's an ice cream van, by the way, if you can hear it. A little uh, a little insight there. Um, our, tech three, our tech 3 power generators? No, our tech 3 mass extractors are doing... Meh. Meh. I mean, we could be... Uh, what I would... You know, they're doing fine. You know, they obviously produce a consistent amount of, of power. What I'm saying is that we could be doing better in terms of power, which is uh, which is kind of nice. What, what the hell are you pinging? Somebody's pinging something up here. And it freaks me out. Let's move you guys back. We do not have any long-range way of engaging these units up here, so... 
I guess we move up there. Oh, fuck! Who is re... Who has reclaimed that? I needed that mass, dude. I needed that mass. Is that a... That's a loyalist. A Tech 3 assault bot. Okay. That's fine. We should manage to take out most of their shit. I mean, that point defense is just going to help wear them down. And we've got... We, we've got the unit numbers. We, you know, we've absolutely got the unit numbers. So, do not doubt me in terms of that... We shall prevail. Okay, it doesn't look like we can actually get much further up here. You know what? Let's let's path around. Let's path around. Let's see if we can. In fact, yeah. Let's see if we can. Can we path around this a little bit? I don't. I don't think we can. I don't think there's much. There's much point in trying. But you know what? It it could be worth it. Could be worth it. Let's go. You upgrade. This could be the greatest sneak attack the world has ever seen. Or it could just absolutely fail. It could just absolutely fail. Honestly, I'm for the whole failing thing. I think that's much more likely. Uh, where the hell is my tier 3... My tier 3 engineer? Where? Tier 3 engineer? Where, where you be? Where you be, tier 3 engineer? Ah, there he is. All right, let's go for a nuke launcher. Let's go for a strategic missile launcher. Uh, why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? Unless, unless, want to go for something like a stealth field and then a strategic missile launcher? Yeah, you know what? Let's go for a stealth field then a strategic missile launcher. And fuck it, let's let's go for this uh, this little sneak attack right now. It's gonna be. It's going to be delicious, isn't it? It's going to be fucking great. It's going to be absolutely top-notch. Tier 3 land factory as well. Let's get two tier 3 land factories. I don't mind if I do. Do we have any Percivals? We do have Percivals. That's good. That's really good. Okay. Yeah, so we're distracting them. That's that's what we're actually doing. Like I'm, I'm not just throwing my resources out the window. I'm not just doing that. Even though it may look like it. It sort of does look like it. I will grant you that. Uh, we're uh, tier three, tier three. Where you be? Where you be at, bro? There you are. All right. Um, what the hell was I looking for again? It was a strategic missile thingy. That was what it was. Uh, strategic missile launcher. Great. There we go. Build there. Build there and build there now. Any idle engineers, go and assist this tier three, please. That would uh, that would aid me greatly. Well. We tried, didn't we? We fucking tried. And we, we had a, a nice little uh, exploration. Exploration sort of force, which was kind of nice. Good. I'm not I'm not too disappointed with that, in all honesty. I'm not too disappointed with that. You and... Where are you going? Well, you could help out with this... Uh, with this battle. With this battle to construct stuff. Alright. Great. If we can get a nuke off in here, that would be fucking great. That would be absolutely fucking top notch. Uh, we do have one tier 3 nuke, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice indeed. Um, two idle engineers help with this. What the hell? Strategic bombers. No. Shift G, and they will split up the orders, and yeah, they'll get wrecked. They'll get wrecked above my base anyway. What did they take out? Wow, they didn't even they didn't even manage to take out a Tech Three power generator, a Tech Three power generator, a Tech Three mass extractor. Okay, we took out them both. That's good. That's what we like to see. I'm actually going to leave my forces here. Uh, as in forces my aircraft at the front of the base so that uh, they can respond quicker to the enemy. Alright. We're looking good. We're looking really, really good. The sooner we can get a nuke out though, the better, as far as I'm concerned. A nuke would be absolutely fantastic right now and it looks like that's going to be happening fairly, fairly soon. Hopefully the stealth field generator will aid will aid the nuke production. 
I just really want to absolutely fuck this place up. If we fuck this place up, then we can we can march in a lot of the experimental units that we've got, um, that we've got chilling out, which is kind of nice. Now, what are you doing? You're going to aid the Tech Three Engineer. That's what we like to see. Um, if we can't build, yeah, okay, fuck it. Let's just build. Let's just build loads of shit, because we're going to be overflowing mass very, 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 very soon. Like we need to be building a lot more engineers to make sure that we have a lot more stuff, basically. Uh, yeah, okay, Air Factory, you also build engineers, and Air Factory, you can rally out there. Now, are they sending an experimental yet? Because they really should if they haven't already. I don't know why they haven't. I don't know why they haven't. My commander, you can also go and aid. You can just aid this continuously, why not? Move there, aid there. Uh, yeah, move, move there, in fact. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And, of course, my fighter planes are ridiculously out of position. And they will now know that I'm building a nuke, I think. Unless the stealth field generator has done something magical, which it probably hasn't. Which is a shame, uh, but it's just the way things are. And yes, as I watch my mass overflow, it brings me great sadness. Brings me great sadness indeed. Let's, uh, let's build some, let's build some, let's build some air factories. Build some air factories, pump out some more units, uh, get some tier 3 upgrades. Oh my god, look at these. Look at these bombers. Look at these bombers. Holy shit balls. That, that may have, uh, that may have, that may have frozen the game. It certainly did something. I really don't know what it did. But it, it certainly froze, holy shit, that's an explosion and a half. Alright, you know what? I've, I've sort of changed my mind, actually, a little bit. Tier 3 Engineer, you go back to building that nuke. Because otherwise, we're in some serious shizzle nizzle trouble. Which is, uh, which is annoying. Just, just fuck it. Everybody on the nuke. Everybody on the nuke. Everybody on the fucking nuke. It's the only thing that we've got, uh, that we've got to save us right now. Otherwise, we're, we're basically fucked. We're basically fucked. As in, that, that entire lag spike was just something awful. Jesus. Wow. Wow. As in, that lag to fuck. That... Oh, maybe it's just... Maybe it's just a dude lagging. Oh, well, wow. Chief Jagger is not connected. We can't eject Lars. He's got a really shitty ping. Unfortunately, these are all the guys that I'm playing with, by the way. Hats off to them for sort of, uh, I don't know, coming on here and uh, and and performing to a top-notch level. Now, Pink is our highest level player, and he's still not been impacted. Achieve Jagger was high up, but, uh, well, he was our second level player. Um, but still, Pink, Pink's not doing too badly. And I think Pink's actually got a Galactic Colossus, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's still around. Um, which is actually really kind of nice. 684 ping. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. Come on! I, I really despise it when this happens in, um, in Forged Alliance. You just can't kick the dude. You just cannot kick the dude. Now, what is going on? Come on, let me kick him. I don't think I can kick him. Yep, alright, there we go. That seemed to have somewhat worked. I have no idea who Lars is. Lars is red, so he's on the opposite team. Like, I'm happy with that. Lars is not connected. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm here. I'm here. I am here. Unfortunately, I am still here. Don't worry. Things aren't, uh... Who did I kick? Who? Lars. Lars has got a ping of 683. You couldn't kick if he was here. What? I have literally no idea what's going on. Physically impossible. 
Lars has a ping. He barely has a ping. I mean, he's got a ping of like a bazillion. Whatever. This is uh, this is banter in the chat. All right. He's gone. He's gone. Yeah, that's who cares. Literally, who cares? I mean, I suppose like half of their defenses will be totally fucked, but who gives a damn anyway? I mean, if you've got a shitty ping, then eh, eh, meh. In the chat, which one is more broken, Dota or this game? Um, well, this game is like way older than the current Dota Reborn, which is the uh, bit that is fucked up, I think, with Dota. But, uh, but this is sort of annoying. Yeah, I think this this game is uh, is is totally fucked. It's totally fucked. Totally screwed. I think. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think there's much salvaging at this. I think the game is uh, as well and truly bugged out, which is a real real shame. If you don't kick him, the game is frozen forever. The game is frozen forever. You hear that? You hear that? The game is frozen forever. I've already kicked him. Ejected by eight five four. Um. Yeah. So. So you guys need to you, you need to you need to fucking kick him. You literally need to kick him. Well, you need somebody needs to kick him because otherwise otherwise you've got a problem on your hands. Oh goodness. Goodness gracious me. I think it's because they might be friends. I don't I don't really know. Um I really am not entirely sure on the entire situation. It seems a little bit daft, though, if you ask me. Which is a little bit dumb. But hey ho. I can't. I really can't. I really can't. Uh, I really can't change the world myself. People have got to help me. People have got to help. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Miraculously! Miraculously, it came back. Holy cow. Well, Achieve Jaguar is still down, which is a bummer, right? It's bad, but it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world at all. We're still in an all right position. All right, we absolutely fucked up all of those planes, like, right away. Admittedly, right, they were only tier ones. They were only tier ones. But still, I maintain that a good fucking up is a good fucking up, right? That is uh, that is undisputable by anybody. Okay, that and that. Go and help out build the nuke. This is national service. National service to build the nuke. Oh my god, this is so, 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 so imperative that we get this nuke just fucking built. I mean, literally one nuke, well... It's kind of good that they've got half of their shit that was just gone. Although he was the lowest on the scoreboard. So I'm not entirely sure if it would have made any difference. Oh, Street GG Bombers. You're fucked, mate. You're totally fucked. Oh, I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I ain't, I ain't got nothing left to give, man. I ain't got nothing left to give. Uh, if only we had a radar over here. A radar would be really, really nice, wouldn't it? You know, let's go and build a radar over here. Yeah, yeah, let's just build it. You know, we can probably just get away with building a tier 3 radar. Just there. That's only a tier 2 radar, but who really gives a damn? Oh, man. This worries me. This worries me greatly. I mean, I'm a bit worried the fact that... Uh... Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit balls. Shit balls. Shit balls. Let's go and... Let's go and do some fighter bomber shenanigans. See what the hell they've got going on over here. Uh, okay, so it's tier 3 assault bots. We can compete with these. Not really, in all honesty. We can do a little bit of harassment with these with these dudes. I mean, they're... I don't want to say they're worthless now, but they're, they're worth a little bit less than they were. Okay, you need to come back. Have we finished this fucking nuke yet? Right, where is the... Where to nuke? Where to nuke? 
Where to nuke? Tell me where to nuke, dudes. Somebody just, uh, somebody, okay, red. All right, anti-nuke. Oh, but there's, there's no, if there's an anti-nuke over there, then I don't want to target it then. I might as well just fuck up white. Front has nuke defense. Well, where then? Where then? Where on earth am I going to do it? Where where the hell do I do it? Um, you guys, you come with me. You're going to be a special delegation of units that build me some air places. Scout for whites. Okay, I will, I will scout whites area. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? That's a monkey lord. All right. I need to get my Percy's, my Percy's, my Percival's on there right now. Uh, and I will actually get my, is that tier twos that I've, I've got selected now? Tier twos, yeah. And tier threes as well, actually. Help take that dude out. And my fighters will be assisting these dudes in anything that happens. So hopefully, if any get taken out, it's going to be the tech twos, not the tech threes. That's, uh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that's what happens. Alright, so there is a lot of air superiority fighters there. Not gonna lie, there is a lot of air superiority fighters over there. Shift G, split up the orders. Holy shit! We're gonna take it down. We're gonna take it down. We're gonna take it down. That's, that's somewhat nice. Let's fly over Blue's base. Try and attract some, uh... Trying to attract some fighters to go with it. Holy shit! All right, I'm just gonna launch. I'm just gonna launch my nuke at uh, at white. I'm just gonna hope. I'm just gonna hope beyond hope that he doesn't have a strategic missile defense. I mean, he probably does. Let's let's strategic be frank. Strategic launch detected. Strategic launch detected. That's the first time that I think I've ever done that. It's really nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I really can't do shit about this, man. Holy fucking ball sacks. I, oh my god. This is this is not cool. Like, on any level, this is not cool. I haven't even started building strategic bombers yet. It's not, e it's not even gonna land. Yeah, see, it didn't even fucking land. It didn't even fucking land. I'm, I'm just gonna die a miserable death. A literal miserable death because I've got literally no chance in hell of ever uh, succeeding. Let's build some strategic bombers. Let's build some strategic bombers. Air superiority fighters are also a thing that needs to be built but I think in all honesty I'm pretty I'm pretty royally fooked at this stage. Need to target this with literally everything we've got. Literally just fuck the commander up. Fuck the commander up. Fuck the commander. Oh, it's oh okay. It's just a support. That's that's annoying. It's just a support. That is a good point. It is just a support. Well, we've lost on that defense as well, so we're literally we're out of options. Uh we're out of options, we're out of power, and uh, I think we're out of luck actually. Which is a little bit, uh, a little bit pesky, but hey ho, you know we did our best, didn't we? We we did indeed do our best. Uh, and if we can build some strategic bombers, then that might help us. We're still building another nuke, which probably won't help us. Let's be frank, probably not going to help us. We're going to be able to take out these assault bots. Fingers crossed they don't take out my Tech Three uh, artillery. That's really not what we want. Do I have any gunships left at all? suppose we could take these guys back. It's, I, um, my economy is just being absolutely shredded right now. One more nuke would be a godsend, a blessing, but I'm not hopeful. At that point, defense is definitely going to go down. My commander. Holy shit. Holy shit, he just TP'd his commander in. Fucking hellballs. Holy. A holy mother of Jesus. GG. GG, GG, GG. I don't think we've got much, uh, much, much choice, in all honesty. Much choice? Much chance. Much remaining chance. I, I really don't think we do. Um, 
Wow, what a game. What a game. Two commanders left. They've got tier 3 artillery. And, uh, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to insult your intelligence by, uh, by pretending that we can still win. That is, uh, that is just not something that I'm going to do. So I'm just going to end the episode there and say, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. If you're interested in when I stream, it's Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, round about 7 p.m. GMT. No, British summertime, whatever. You know, it's round about 7 o'clock UK time. Um, it's round about 2 o'clock American Eastern time, I think. So, um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll tune into a stream. Watch uh, another Supreme Commander video, perhaps, in the future. But until then, my name is Robert Potato, and I'll see you next time.